Jaguar Land Rover St. Louis, a Plaza Motor Company in the heart of Creefcore. What is this? We're supposed to wear Memphis stuff today. I wore a shirt from Rendezvous, my favorite Memphis restaurant. You just wore your regular shirt you wear to every single episode of Two Bads. Do I wear this too often? Too often? Do you have any other options? Hey, I brought my Memphis clothes. What'd you bring? My blue suede shoes. Not suede, but they're but they're blue. Check it out. Oh, Lord of mercy. All right. All right. Good Elvis reference, though. All right. Let's talk a little Memphis Redbirds. That's why we're talking about Memphis today. You know, my favorite rap group is from Memphis. 3-6 Mafia. Oh, yeah. What was that one song? I gotta stay fly. No, I, no, the I, collar. The collar. Oh, yeah. Pop it. Pop your collar. Yeah, pop your collar. Yeah, do that. That'd be, that'd be great, yeah. I haven't done this since, uh, like, middle school. <laughs> it makes your... When you have a fat neck, it really thins it out. It's a good look. I wish someone had told me that. <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, before all right, before we get into the Cardinals and the Memphis Redbirds, let's talk about this automobile. Oh my God, this thing is amazing. A Range Rover Villar from Jaguar Land Rover, St. Louis. Tell them about the car, Ben. It's pretty sharp. It's brand new. Um, you won't find many of these riding around people stopping and looking at it a because it's beautiful b because they haven't they haven't seen it before yeah. um brand new to the fresh market. out the box um it's got this incredible it's got this incredible dual screen interior um in the center console um when we got in it we felt like we were in a spaceship oh it's i know this amazing thing the uh steering the speed limit the speed you're driving is is actually um displayed on the windshield you don't even have to look down to see how fast you're going it's so there's really the no future. excuse for speeding which i just not thought of that so I guess if uh, that's something to keep in mind when yeah. you're driving it, and it's easy to go too fast because it's so quiet, so smooth, oh, yeah. and it's also got room for for all your friends. Beautiful interior design. Oh, um, it's yeah. got the newest innovative designs, second to none. You're only going to find them in a Range Rover, and it's starting just over 55k. Um, they have they have the models in stock. They're they're taking orders right now. Mm -hmm. So if you want to uh, want to be one of the first people in town to have one, you got to give our friends a call. Yeah, and you look awesome driving it, even with that collar situation. All right, let's talk about the Memphis Redbirds this right. season. They have infused the St. Louis Cardinals and thus kept the Cardinals afloat as St. Louis tries to grab a wild card spot or possibly even the division, but I doubt it. Uh, who have been some of your favorite Memphis Redbirds on the Cardinals this year? Man, it, it seems crazy to go back this far, but um, how could you not start with Tommy Pham? I mean, it's, yeah. it's so just mind-blowing to even realize that he was on the opening night roster for the Redbirds this season because of how important he's been and, and right after him Paul DeYoung I yeah. mean, these guys have become critical components of this Cardinals team and we're not even talking about them being within a sniff of the wild card if not yeah. for these guys and uh, you know they kind of set the tone because um, there's been plenty of come after who have uh, who have made not as big of an impact but a, a huge impact we're talking about this team still having a chance to make yeah. some sort of a postseason appearance here and it's thanks to this team I mean it's, it's crazy when you think about it like this opening night for the triple-a team Tommy fan or it was DeYoung batting second Tommy fam third two of the if you will three most important spots in your lineup maybe four you know what I'm getting at now the st. Louis Cardinals the big team is starting those dudes right there in those spots fam of course second DeYoung third uh, that normally doesn't happen uh, and the team's also in playoff contention uh, yet we're seeing that with St. Louis, but we've got to talk about the pitching too. And the way Luke Weaver has come on, starting these games for St. Louis, especially of course with, with Wayne right out, I mean, it has been sensational. That ball, that ball break dances over the plate. How about uh, somebody who doesn't get as much attention, but uh, in John Brevia, oh, the, yeah. the, the bearded one, the Game of Thrones uh, backup, if you will. Um, he's He's been quietly effective. He, uh, he can pitch in high leverage situations. Mm -hmm. And where would this where would this bullpen that's been shaky at times be without be without him? Oh, yeah. by the way, Jack Flaherty, he's going to need to be a part of this rotation here too. Sure. That the Cardinals are going to stand a chance, but they just keep bringing him up. And somehow, what's really crazy is that the Cardinals kept 
pulling these guys to the majors. They need they had needs and they filled them from within. And the Redbirds kept winning. Right. I mean, there's right. We've They're seen, in the playoffs. It's stunning, man. Um, more wins. I mean, set career records or you know franchise records for amount of wins for amount of games they won the division by. Subby Clapp, a very deserving manager of the year in, in the PCL. And what a job he's done to not only get these guys ready, which is his number one job, mm -hmm. but also to keep winning with their replacements. Yeah. Because that's hard to that's hard to do. I wonder, you know, rosters have expanded. We're going to see some more guys coming up. There are some injuries um, to some veteran players. Matt Carpenter's banged yeah. up. We might we might see him sit for a while. Dexter Fowler, Colton Wong, these guys have, are starting to feel the grind of the season a little bit. Yeah. Who, who is it that you're most looking forward to seeing next if he gets a chance? Man, that's a great, that's a great question. Um, I'm fascinated to even see if they'll bring a lead Mestias back. Yeah, and, great, great and, call. and how much can Aledmus Diaz help the team that he, I don't want to say hurt earlier in the year, but I mean, they were relying on Aledmus Diaz to be the number two hitter in the lineup. Aledmus Diaz, of course, got sent down. He hasn't even been doing that great for that team. Of course, Paul DeYoung comes up, plays shortstop, and Tommy Pham took over in that number two spot in the lineup. So I am fascinated to see if Diaz will come up, chip on his shoulder, uh, looking to bounce back and uh, salvage the season in St. Louis. What about Patrick Wisdom, too, speaking of a uh, corner infielder? Um, man, his home run numbers, you make you just double check to see if that can't be right. Right. And his strikeouts are too high, but you just wonder, is there a, is there a way that he can be an impact bat at some point? Yeah. Um, and you, know, you kind of get to the point where you hope the Cardinals find a way to get him because you'd like to see these young guys keep playing. Well, I hope the They're Cardinals... They're the most fun to watch. Oh, no question. Harrison Bader, too. Um, I, did, I hope they get... Patrick Wisdom, so I can get my nickname going, Patty Smarts. That's better than some of your other ones. Remember the one you had for Todd Gurley? That was pretty terrible. I'm talking baseball today. <laughs> what was a go go gadget? Go go gadget Gurley. He was very versatile. That was terrible. You can't win them all. That was terrible. Patty Smarts. Two Bins is brought to you by Jaguar Land Rover St. Louis, a Plaza Motor Company.